All right, my name is Chu. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make a flying entity. Really easy, not hard. This is one of mine, it's a hawk. It works great. As you can see, it's a little bit off the uh, zero. So let's get to it. First you wanna pick modded entity, of course, confirm. Always point north. Add groups. Start renaming them. Head. Get that out of there. Body. Get that out of there. Wings. Wing left. Wing right. Okay. And right. So all my pivots are at zero right now. See that one? See, they're all at zero. So you got to redo the pivots. Very important. If you don't redo the pivots, it's not going to work. All right. So start adding cubes. Let's do the body first. Put the cube in the, yep, there we go. Now, that's the pivot. Let's switch to move, which is V. All right. Um, so, you, you want this off the ground. About that high. If you want the bird to attack, you want it about that high. Maybe a little higher. Maybe, maybe you want it close to 32. Now, if you go higher than 32, which I have done and it works, but the bounding box, the hit box is that tall and you're going to have to readjust it. So what I do is I just make my ambient um, birds that I make up high with no bounding box and you can't really hit them. They're just for scenery. The ones that you can't hit, I do low because you don't have to mess with the bounding box so much. And that's pretty much, that's it on that. Um, so let's make this real quick. Press S to shape. I'll make a small bird. Yep, small bird. Now control D to duplicate. Put that in his head right there. Move that up here. Control D. So every time you hit Control D, you notice that it goes in that folder. So if you need to move it. Now, center pivot. Now I got this tool on here. If you need it, click the toolbar, customize, look for it on here, search bar. Center pivot. No. Nope, wrong way. Let's get his beak a little bit, you know. All right. If you guys aren't hearing those clicks. <laughs> Okay, um, yeah, should I give him googly eyes? Yes, I should, control D, control D, yes, he's a flying frog, here we go. Let's go to the wings. Add a cube. Bring that cube up here. Now this is the left. I'm sorry. Yes, this is the left wing. So put that up there. Let's ask the shape. 
Control D. That's the shape. Control D. And man, I wish I'd get that down to one cube. Control D. I know how to do this. That's the shape. One cube. Press V. Hold down Control Shift. Small increments. There we go. Now we're going to highlight the folder wing left. And we're going to Control D it. So I just made a copy of that. Bring it over here. Now let's delete this folder. And now I got wing left too, but we're going to rename this to wing right. And we're going to re, uh, readjust these. So press V. There we go. Wow, his face is way too big. Okay, I got to make some adjustments here. This is going to crack me up. Okay. Um, uh, maybe I shouldn't put these googly eyes on. Let's see, control Z. And let's get rid of that. Let's control D this. Move that over here. Yeah, that looks a little better. Let's give him a tail. Put that in the body. Control D. That's the shape. Horrible tail. There we go. <laughs> Not sure what this is turning into. My hawk was really good, as you can see. And yeah, let's, let's try to let's try to get this going here. Well, well, yeah, the head's too big, right? Yes, the head's too big. Yes. Control V, Control Shift V to <clears throat> move it in small increments there. So we got a little bit of a. Well, let's get rid of this. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, I got that lined up, rotating. V. Oops, shouldn't have done that either. Um. Yeah, let's get this shape first. Why is it not working here? There we go. There we go. There we go. Now. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's looking better. All right. Now. Yeah, so it looks like I want to put a neck on him because if I want the head to move, which I do, his head's going to uh, be running into his body. So I want to take his head and move, and take all of his head and move it forward. Now I'm going to duplicate this body again. I'm going to shrink that down. One cube. That's not too bad, actually. Then take the head, press V, move it back. There. Now he's going to move his neck on that. Okay. I'm thinking we should have this up higher. Like it should be. Yeah. I should have done this before I do. I should have done that before I duplicated it. How did I do the other one? Um. Oh, I did it 
Oh, okay. So I did it. I did boom, boom. And then I did. Oh, that's, that's the end. It's better. Yep. It's good to have reference. Okay. So I did it like this. Let's move this back. I did it like this. Right? Yeah. That looks better. Oh, yep. 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 Ooh. There we go. The bird. Even though I think his body's too thick. And he's got no feet. And his tail could be moved down. And maybe that's a stinger. I have no idea. Okay. Maybe we should make that a little longer. No, yuck. Okay. Let's texture it. Create texture. Click template. Padding, confirm. That thing's all over the place. Good grief. All right, but it's all lined up. See these boxes? They're all lined up. That's important. It's all looking good. So uh, I'll just do the easy, fast painting method that I like to use. Pick a color. It's a crow, I guess. Sure. Uh, yeah, ooh, boom, there we go. I start painting it with the brush. It's amazing. Is it turning into a bat? I have no idea. Oh my gosh. All right, let's get some gray on it. Oh, nope. Now, this is not a lot of blocks, so. It better make a, it's probably easier to make a bigger bird. But um, I'm not sure what this thing is, actually. It's turning into something. Oh boy. All right. Let's go. Here we go, orange beak. Uh, yeah. Not bad. It's uh, it's not bad <laughs> okay uh there we go so let's go finish it no that's it right there go to edit hit control a hit it again now you can see what you got here in your monstrosity of a bird. That's not too bad. Okay. That's not too bad, actually. It would probably look good really far away. Okay. Um, now you got your texture. Now once you got it all finished, except you're not finished. Uh, I forgot this part right here. So let's get the... Uh, click on the wing right. Click on center pivot. So now all your pivots should be here. See them? They all are there now. It's the easiest way to do it. As again, go to your customized toolbar. Customize toolbar. And click uh, search for a um, center pivot. And then add it. It's the best thing. Okay. Um, now you see all these. Oops. I'm sorry. You see when I click the wing, they're all on working okay now do this one center pivot now let's see what's gonna look like in flight that's wrong i always do this wrong yep there it is that's that's not gonna be right that's not gonna be right so you want this pivot oh, whoops you want this pivot you want this pivot here all of them let's see what that does oops yeah so let's 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 redo the pivots on this one so you center it up and then get the pivot which is wow okay center 
the center. This is probably where a lot of people run into problems. Okay. Now, all my pivots are on his joint, which is pretty much his shoulder for his wing. So now we should... Oops, I'm sorry. Got, but, yeah. Nope, nope, nope. Press Y. I gotta click all of them. There we go. Now this should flap. Yeah, see, it's going to flap. There we go. It's going to be a good flap, too. Okay, now you gotta do the, uh, the other side. Center pivot. All right. Now his head. Get the head right. Center pivot. Center pivot. Uh, center pivot. Center pivot. I click everything, the eyes and everything. There we go. Let's see what this is going to do. Oh. Oh, click the head. Oops. Click the head. Uh, yep, it's going to move. It's going to all move, move to get, uh, uniformly. All right. No. Actually, we'll point this down. Yes. We'll point this down. There we go. Yeah, let's back this up a little bit. Oh, don't do that. Click move. Yeah, there we go. But a small increment. So control shift. There we go. What's next? Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, I like that. Okay, let's name it. Project. Um. CV Blackbird. I'll copy, paste that. Paste. Confirm. Say project as. Paste. Save. Export. Export Java entity. Paste. Save as. Yep. Paste. Everything's named the same. Easy to find. No problem. Now let's hop into uh, M Creator and get the wings going. All right, now that after you uh, deleted the first top three lines of the .java file, you go into M Creator, import Java 3D model, find your uh, Java model. Now, here's let's set the wings up. Well, first do the head, head movement for your head. Now these are the name of the folders, wing left is going to be left arm swing Z. Wing right is going to be right arm swing Z. Wing left, left arm swing Z, wing right, right arm swing Z. Save, all right. Um, great new living entity. Let's name it. Find your model. Uh, boy, it's at the top here. There. And import texture. All right. Yep. Right there. Crow. I got my model in. I got my texture. Um, you can color the egg and all that. Uh, put that in. I mean, I made a tab so I can find it easy. All right. Uh, behavior is flying entity. Click that. Go to AI and goals. Now you're going to delete this whole thing. Put it in the trash can. Go to AI templates. 
Now I'm making a passive mob, flying passive mob. So there you go. And I want to make them a little faster, so I'm going to put it on one. And click save. Okay. Now let's test it. All right, let's test this bird. So we got flight. Yes, we do. Oh, they're spawning in even over there. Wow. Yes, they're flying. Here we go. Let's put some of my other birds in here. Let's get it going. It's a bird party. Come on, man. Whoa. Come on, vultures. Now, one of the vultures to attack the hawks or something. I'm working on that. Or or the vultures attack some something down here. But as you can see, uh, the hawks are on flying speed one. And the the crow I made, which I'm calling it a crow right now, which I would have made I, I should have made his body skinnier. Yeah, I should have made he's like a flying penguin. <laughs> yeah, he's like a flying penguin right now. I got I I should make him skinnier, but the that's that's pretty good for ambient sort of you know you want to add to your something to your game i really hope this made uh made this easier for you uh because it took me a second to figure out but they are beautiful all right guys go make some birds see ya